After speaking with Gabriel, Mary goes to see her relative Elizabeth and sees that Elizabeth is pregnant. By the way, we sometimes refer to Mary and Elizabeth as cousins, but the underlying Greek word simply suggests a relationship. Perhaps they were second cousins or first cousins once removed, and so forth. As soon as Elizabeth hears Mary's voice, John the Baptist in the womb starts jumping. Elizabeth recognizes Mary as the mother of Christ. It's a beautiful moment. In response to Elizabeth, Mary says a poem or a song that has become known as the Magnificat, based on the first word in Latin. In English, it's the fourth word, magnify. This is a famous song in many Christian traditions, although it's a lesser known one among some Latter-day Saints. Let's read it together in Luke chapter 1, starting in verse 46. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he hath looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He hath filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He hath helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham, and to his descendants forever. What a beautiful song of redemption. The Lord is showing mercy. He is filling those who are hungry. Reflect for a moment on that first line, my soul magnifies the Lord. What would our lives be like if we walked around thinking, my soul magnifies the Lord? To magnify is to intensify, to make big. What would that look like in our lives? I love how Mary sets an example of magnifying the Lord in her soul. 